Last week on Married to the Games. So you want to barter and trade. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, man, freaking stancil. <laughs> uh, I can't stand scary books. Goosebumps. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> Be like, I'm not sitting here. It smells like urine. <laughs> hey, I oh, had a, a quick little news item, too. Oh, listen to Rowdy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. What? what? So, I don't know. It, it's 70 it, episodes. Yeah. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and nine to fives, but we are still married to the game. Zero seven one. How are y'all doing out there? We are so glad you guys are here. It's your boy Gabe Patillo. Joined. <laughs> I still haven't decided if I want to say joined by or with. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm getting caught up on this all of a sudden. But I'll say here with Tim Router. And Timothy Hall, of course, and as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Gabe, could you do that intro one more time? Just once more, please. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> Can I do it the way I feel? <laughs> oh, please, please, please. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them. <laughs> we have about this thing. Peace. <laughs> uh, you know, okay. You know, well, that, you, that would be hilarious. Like iTunes updates with like a two minute episode. <laughs> All right. We up out here. See ya. <laughs> highest, highest rated podcast ever. Uh, right. We're like Microsoft did some things. Sony did some things. Nintendo did some stuff. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's amazing. Uh, is that like the cliff notes of the show? Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Everybody yeah. did stuff. See you later. Yep. <laughs> hey, we're married and we played some games. Yeah. We, we about the same piece. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Um, so, Router, I know that by day you are a web designer, but I know for the last couple days you've probably been captain kangaroo uh, <laughs> <laughs> running uh, some sort of romper room ladies and gentlemen i am running a summer camp at my house right now <laughs> i've got i've got the canoe in the back i've got the the trust fall going the whole nine <laughs> no, trust so, fall. so um my uh my wife's really good friends uh they have triplets they live in i talked to uh i've talked on the show about them before they live in brooklyn um they decided to come down and they drove down from New York. Um, it's just, it's just her. And uh, they have a nanny because you have to have a nanny with triplets. It's ridiculous. I was about to say, hmm. yeah, and I don't think you drove, have a choice. Yeah. So she drove down to, uh, to our house on Saturday. Uh, they did it in two, two days. So Friday, Saturday. And so I have uh, three, four year olds and a soon to be two year old in my house running around. My hmm. gosh. It is insane how <laughs> like just it's just nuts you just uh, within 10 minutes of them getting there our playroom looked like a bomb went through it <laughs> thank god honestly thank god we did the playroom when we did during during the holidays because i don't know what would have happened it would have mm. been it would have been chaos but i mean that playroom is coming in handy and they're they're great i mean we're all having a really good time it's just there's just a lot of yelling and crying and then there's running around and i'm carrying i'm carrying <laughs> and, one of my and back. then there's the kids and then there's the kids <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly tim and, tim and lauren are in a corner like <laughs> <laughs> find a happy place find a happy place find a happy place <laughs> please no. lord make me a bird fly far far away from here <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. And even Dabney's like, where's the wine? Where's the wine? I need the wine. Where's the wine? 
<laughs> You're like a 7 a.m. woman. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> but it's it's good. We're having a lot of fun. They've made a huge effort uh, to come down. This is the first time the kids have ever been down here. They're absolutely loving it. Uh, it's been so stinking cold, though, that we haven't been able to really take them out. out. We went and saw uh, Frozen again yesterday at the movie theater. And uh, the day before, when it was like 55 degrees, uh, we took him to the zoo. Um, I somehow got out of it, which was amazing because, oh, I have that thing called, oh, yes, work. I have a job <laughs> that I need to attend to. So thankfully, I was able to get some work done. And uh, but it, it's been it's been a lot of fun. It's just been absolutely nuts. Mm. It's like that. It's like crazy controlled chaos. So. But yeah, there's been a lot of running around. I, I think I'm losing weight because I'm uh, I've been chasing them and uh, and playing with them and running around, which is good. And you started crack. And I started, <laughs> and I'm now an official crackhead. So, <laughs> so it is all good. But uh, so oh. need, needless to say, uh, the gaming department is is a little low this this week. Um, I did, however, I I said when everybody was gone, and I was at a good point break good stopping point of work it's said screw it i gotta go up and play some infamous too so I was, able, I was able to play like another 30 to 45 minutes um just did a couple side missions and still loving that game can't wait for second son and uh but i'm also i'm kind of excited like i want to start getting into mass effect 3 too because really that and dragon age 2 are the only things left in my pile that i have to uh -oh. that i need to complete and it's it, i'm i'm sad to say that i haven't even touched the ps4 since i got it i plugged it in got everything put together downloaded Reso gun that's about as far as i've gotten hmm. besides <laughs> so. the fact that it's never in stock uh that's another reason why i haven't gotten one yet because i'm like eh, i need to yeah. find some games too well that's the mm -hmm. thing like we we need some serious games so like there's nothing that's that's overly like i have to have it and it's like if i had probably waited for ac4 on the ps4 then i would have been all over that but mm -hmm. I, but no you know me i can't wait for uh i can't wait that long for an assassin's creed release well i could have for 3 but for this <laughs> one i was i was very excited for so i just yeah, went ahead it, it and seems got the like PS3. that's one of your favorite uh franchises yeah it is well four, awesome. 4 brought it back which is great but I'm loving the Mass Effect, like I loved Mass Effect 2. I'm really looking forward to diving into Mass Effect 3. And, um, but yeah, so very minimal gaming, a lot of candy crushing, and uh, that's about it. But oh, uh, the candy crush update, uh, I have gotten three stars from level one. I am now up to 89. Hmm, that's so, crazy. So it's just one of those, I think, I, I'm hoping that like two or three years from now, like I'll, I'll have like some sort of world record for getting three stars on all levels. Because there you like, go. I've been mm. stuck on this one level for a week. I finally got it. It's just, it's just fun. I don't know why it is like crack. I mean, it's like you, you play it. You, you, it's just a quick pick up and play thing, and it's just crazy. It's Are you good. saying that they're gonna have like a cross between Candy Crush and Plumber Crack, and it's gonna be Candy Crack? Candy Crack. I like it. <laughs> nice. I like that a go. lot. You have to throw candy in somebody's crack, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. Uh, that's uh, yeah. I don't want candy now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no more. Candy. No more candy for me. But Mr. Hall, talk to me about um, Mass Effect Three and what's going on in your world. Really enjoying Mass Effect Three. That's Man, right. He yeah, got guilted. Like, in the, he got guilted into playing it. Oh, totally. No, <laughs> he got busted into playing it. I believe. No, I really so wanted. Awesome. I really wanted to play because once you sit down and you start like doing the story stuff, like it's really fun. Exactly. I mean, it's such a good story. Um, and that's like I'm not the biggest story guy but that's like one game that i can i can sit back and you know listen to the dialogue and watch the cutscenes. the coolest thing that they do is when you're talking to people and they're like changing camera angles and stuff like it makes I it know. more interesting that's, that's cool that's awesome and Where, not... whereas when i'm talking to people in skyrim i'm just bored oh yeah no i've gone in fact i've i've skipped what do you hit the square or something like that to kind of skip the conversation uh, yeah i think it's like circle to back out or something yeah but, yeah, um, like I can't stand talking to people in Skyrim. So it's it's not interesting like it is in Mass Effect where, like I said, they're doing like different camera angles and kind of changing things up. I don't know why, but it kind of makes it more cinematic. But And there's sure. not there's not a whole lot of side missions, are there? So it's it's pretty straight up right up your alley anyway, because you like just doing you main mission everything anyway. Yeah, it's kind of like, <coughs> excuse me, like you'll go down your uh typical main mission path and there's stuff to do on the side but it it seems like it's still kind of 
goes towards the overall goal. What what they do is after you get through the first little bit of the story, they kind of just put you out there and let you do what you want. But you have kind of a, a what's called a galactic readiness scale. Uh-huh. So basically, you're going out there and trying to recruit recruit people for the main mission. Basically, I think I think that's what the the overall uh, thing is on Mass Effect Three. So they kind of let you do it a little bit the way you'd like to do it and do things the order you'd like to do them in. And that's, also, too, like, at your terminal, things pop up that, like, aren't part of any mission at all. Like, um, you know, so-and-so will be like, well, I, you know, I'm at blah, blah, come see me and let's talk, you know, and you can go there and have a little interaction, get some Paragon points or Renegade points. So it's yeah. really cool the way that they've done it to where, you know, that stuff won't even pop up in your journal, so you kinda just have to read the email and know what to do. That's do you awesome. go full do you yeah. go full good guy? What's that? Do you go full good guy like you know you can yeah, choose I the do. the nice I response do. or the bad yeah, response? Yeah, I do too. I did for two. I do We're so boring. I do and then I tell myself like, Oh, I'm gonna, you know, play through as like all bad guy, but I never really get around to it. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. If they if they released like a definitive trilogy edition for next gen, which they could do because it's mm-hmm. you know, they just port the PC game basically. Wow, that'd be amazing. Um yeah, if they did that, then I'd probably go through and play that all renegade. Oh, there that'd be go. that'd be awesome, man. And that I'd I'd do that and with infamous too, because I'm doing all the good karma stuff. So mm-hmm. I like I would go back and do all the bad stuff. It'd be awesome. Yeah, that's what I'll do for all my definitive editions, and like it'll show on my profile, and people will be like, "You're you're a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> you're a jerk. <laughs> you're that's, a jerk. That's awesome." Yeah. Like I said in Mass Effect Two, I only had one of those moments where the first time it popped up, one of those little uh, quick action things, I yeah. didn't realize what it was, and it popped up a renegade one at me, and I hit it, and like I slapped a jetpack on some dude's back and just launched him through the air dude i did this i did that exact same one awesome <laughs> that's funny i did that exact same because i had no idea it was so early in the game exactly and i thought it was a quick time event so i was like oh snap i need to hit this and then he was like <laughs> <laughs> his whole thing changed up because i've been so nice to the guy up to that point exactly. he was like yeah well everything will be okay Dog, get out of here. I was like, oh, <laughs> snap. I was like, what the heck? Oh, I was like, oh, awesome. okay, I guess that's bad then. <laughs> right. so that's that's hilarious. hilarious. That's um, really funny. Yeah, and of course those moments pop up in Mass Effect 3, but now I know what to do. So. Exactly. Oh, that's great, man. So far, um, the story kind of hasn't been as interesting as 2, hmm. but it's still very good writing, very good voice acting. Some For of the, the voice part. acting, yeah. like obviously Shepard, oh. is kind of flat. Yeah. Um. But like I said, that they, I think they kind of do that for a reason because Shepard uh, can be anybody. It just seems like they should have been able to. It could have been still better, even though he could have been whatever race you make him. Yeah. I mean, he still sounds like a white guy. It's not like you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Well, and he's just very, he's very stale. He's like, let us go to the interplanetary plant blah 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 you know it's like what it feels like i don't know why they did it that way but whatever you really like i remember in another episode we were talking about this and i like i couldn't get over his voice you finally just do kind of get over it after a while you just power through yeah yeah that's fine whatever yeah i mean you know it is what it is but the voice acting all around is is you know, if you take all the voice actors and you kind of average them out it's very good yeah yeah i enjoy it um, and also too, I played a little bit of Skyrim earlier in the week. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the thing about the friend list is that, you know, you play Skyrim and somebody's going to post a picture. That was oh, awesome. You got that so That was busted. hilarious. It was great. That was classic. <laughs> I'm like, get off that thing. I'll get off that thing. <laughs> that's right. No, I'm it glad, was- dude. I'm telling you, it's, it's so addictive to go back and just do a bunch of different side missions. Like I found myself doing that too. Mm-hmm. I'm just as guilty, except I didn't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the vampire DLC is pretty fun. Um, I was going through a dungeon and I had two followers with me, so it was kind of ridiculous because I had like a vampire follower and then I had my traditional uh, mage follower, and so I'd go into a room and they'd just clear it in a matter of seconds. That's wow! Awesome. I didn't even have to do anything. That's I was great. Like, oh, okay. Lazy, <laughs> lazy killing. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Um. 
And I don't I don't really know where I'm going to end with that game cuz I think after playing the DLC like you know it's still a really fun game. So I I guess maybe I'll just push it all the way to the to the top level and then I guess consider it done. I mean that's the beauty of that game is you, you, the sky's the limit. You can go as far as you want to go. Mhm. Yeah, and I don't I don't really know where to to put it down. I mean it's a really fun game and I'm still having fun with it. Awesome. So, that's yeah, awesome. However many hours later Man, I remember, I feel like they don't tell you, and maybe they do, and I just completely missed it, but I, I feel like I was hours and hours into that game before I even found out I could shoot fire from my hands. <laughs> That's awesome. Because <laughs> I don't feel like they ever tell you you can. It's you, just like, hey, you can equip stuff like this. Yeah, there's... But I it's mean, not like, hey, yeah, they, but you have I, I magic there. You, you see what I'm saying? There's yeah, a lot. I, I know what you're there's a lot of exploration that I think you have to... The burden is on you, because I, I tried the fire a couple times, and I just didn't like it. I just stuck with mm-hmm. long-range bow and arrow, and if I had to get close, I just grabbed my big old sword and started hacking to death. Like, I kept it pretty easy. But, yeah, I think they... It's one of those... I think that, that game itself is just go and figure out whatever you want to do. It's just one of those that they let you go. They let you all let you run around and do whatever you want to do. And and I like that. I think that's pretty cool. It's a, it's a lot easier when you start getting staffs. So like with my guy, like I've done a lot of magic stuff, so I'll get a staff and it's it's decently effective. Yeah. Also, too, um, you know, you can recharge those with soul gems. Yep. So mm-hmm. I'm not using any magic. I'm running through with like maybe a staff in one hand and a sword in the other. Or I'm running through with magic in one hand and a sword in the other, and I'm just like using my magicka. And I've leveled up right. some of that stuff to the point now where it doesn't really use a lot of uh, a lot yeah. of my magicka. Oh, that's good. So like I can, if I get into a big encounter where I'm taking a lot of damage, I can just keep healing myself really fast. So I don't have nice. to worry about dying really. You're until that spider comes along. <laughs> until, <laughs> until that dang frostbite spider comes and gets you. Oh, first yeah, shot. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, yeah, that sucked. That was awesome. That's great, man. But uh, Gabe, what you been up to? Oh, man. Uh, a lot of traveling since last week. Went to Sacramento where the weather was beautiful. I was, I, I, it made me so mad at Nashville when I got over to Sacramento. <laughs> Uh, I was like, are you kidding me? It's, you know, it was like 70 something. I was oh. like, oh, I want to move here. And uh, and then came back to the bitter cold Ugh. and then uh, went to Gatlinburg where it actually was mm. nice. It was nice there, too. Actually, it was, you know, what, 70, but it was like, you know, 60s. And we were like, Sweet. hey, that's Nashville, man. 60s one day, 17 yeah, the next. And that's exactly what happened. Monday, it was like 60 and then uh Tuesday it was 31. <laughs> and yeah. th- this morning when I got in the car to come over here to the store because I had to get out of the house to do this podcast. It was <laughs> it, it was 13 degrees I think in the car. I was like, oh, I know. That's not <laughs> no, good. Thank you. And there's nothing the worse than being in a nice warm house and then going out. I like I had the car running but you know it wasn't like warm enough yet and you're just like, "Oh, you get that initial chill as soon as you sit in there." It's oh, awful. My goodness. That's funny. I always get to chill, man. My cubicle is right by the window. Ooh. I'm like, uh. Oh, gosh. That's the one time we don't want a window. Yeah, exactly. Um, Beat Guacamole. Yeah, dude, you're crushing it nice. right now. How Did you like that game? Yeah, that was really fun. That's a, that's a fun freaking game. It's a fun platformer. Some, it was, you could just kind of pick it up and play. And, I, you know, I felt it ramping, but um, maybe it's a little short. Maybe it's a shorter game, and that's why I beat it so quickly. Because I don't feel like I played it that long. I feel like I only played it for like a week. You know, I got it when it went on sale and uh, finally cracked it open. I want to say just like last week and just kind of, but I did a lot of traveling. So I I guess maybe I got to put some chunks of time into there. And that's on the Vita, right? Yeah. Well, the sale was, that game is cross by, so Mm -hmm. it's Vita or PS3. Oh, that's great. Um, awesome. <laughs> so, uh, that game's really fun. Um, what else did I play? Oh, I, I beat walking dead for the second time. Yay. <laughs> hey, even though I knew what was coming, which I won't spoil it for those that still haven't played it, go play it. But even through a second, 
there was a time for for sure in that like season uh, episode four going into five or three going into four that it felt like it was taking forever and i was like oh, i'm not gonna this is i'm not gonna do it <laughs> like yeah. i'm gonna just quit and play something else um mm-hmm. but i'm glad i pushed through and you know obviously all the same stuff happens um and i knew it was coming but uh man that that game gets emotional yeah yeah it's crazy. So I tried to make all the same decisions. I did notice that, like, I did have a couple things go different than uh, my first playthrough. Um, uh, for those that have played it, you'll kind of know. At, towards the end, there's a time where um, Lee's going off on his own, and you ask people to come with you. And uh, there's different... You can go by yourself... Two people might come with you. One person might come with you. Three people might come with you. So that was different this time. I think only like one or two people came with me the first time I played through. And then like three people came with me this time. So mm. um, that was fun. I, I I started just a little bit of Tearaway. Like I tiptoed into Tearaway. But Tearaway uses the cameras, oh. the back and front mm. cameras. And I played it at like one o'clock in the morning in the bed. So I didn't get the full effect, so I'm going to start it over because I don't know what's going on. Oh, I thought like, you were saying you had to put a shirt on before you played. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but um, you can tell that the cameras are supposed to, because it'd just be like black for forever and they'd be telling part of the story. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, this must be the camera. Um, so that that game does look really fun, though, so I'm excited to dive into that more. Um, and then... uh. AC foreign it up. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Um, I, that game's great, man. But that doggone you play. Yeah, man. I don't is know. Is killing me. Cause you can't even, I can't even access the fleet. Re- well, yeah, you, you, as you pl- play through though, you can, cause every time I load it up, AC4, I always skipped the Uplay. I never logged in or anything. And right. you, you do eventually. Like <clears throat> Once you get past a certain mission, I think, that that unlocks your fleet because then I was able to do it no problem. Are you sure? Because I, yep. I should have my, like, I'm at the point where it's like, you know, if I destroy a ship, it's like, what do you want to do with this ship? And I'm like, send it to Kenway's fleet, baby. Let's get it cracking. Right, right. And then I go down there to do my fleet management and it tries to hop on to Uplay and it's like, can't connect to the server because I haven't been able to put in that, you know, that passport code that it comes with the you play passport. Yeah. I, I mean, Did I you, didn't do any of that, man. You I didn't, like, imp, you didn't input the passport. I didn't thing? import. I didn't input anything. I didn't sign up or log into anything. I just skipped all that and was able to play through. And when I went down into the ship and access my fleet, boom, it was all right there. Hmm. That's well, weird. That I wonder yeah, if it's a, well, you have it on for PS4, don't you? So I wonder if they, they changed yeah. it. I don't know, but I'm struggling. It, it Man, sucks because I want to be able to send out people and go do stuff. And yeah, because you can, you, know. you, you can accumulate. Like I got a ton of money doing that, and that's that's the first thing that I would do when I first uh, started that game up was go down to my ship, see what missions were available, like empty my entire fleet, and then go and do everything. And by the next day, I'd wake up and have like a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, that's right. how that's how it does. So, um, that hmm. sucks. Yeah, so they I I I need them to fix that cuz that's just bumming me out. Um and then uh we're one we're one week older this week and that's good and bad. Because we love doing the podcast, so we want to keep it moving. But we're getting older. But we're getting older. <laughs> <laughs> no, but February's coming. Oh yeah. And with February comes Valentine's Day. Outlast. Oh, yeah. you're and counting. You're counting down. I'm counting to down Outlast? the days for Outlast, man. I, I'm nervous, dude. He's scared. Oh. <laughs> I'm not scared. Poor I'm nervous. Gabe, I will have a white Russian ready for you as soon as we start to play. I don't care if it's seven a.m. I'm gonna need a. Or, I'm gonna need a sedative. <laughs> you're gonna need something, dude. And I'm probably those, gonna need. Uh, I'm probably gonna depends. need a sedative and a, a and a relaxative. If you know and what I'm saying. De- and it depends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guard your manhood. <laughs> yeah. Man. Uh, I was thinking it. about it. I was thinking about it yesterday. We we're driving around, and I was like, "Doggone it! I got to do that freaking let's play of yep. Outlast." Uh, oh, it's gonna be in great. February. 
Um, I'm probably gonna be gone a bunch of February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but I mean, we'll do it. Yeah, and we'll we'll at least start it. <laughs> <laughs> like credits. Okay, that's good. I'm good. Oh my god! Title gosh. comes up. Yep, and we're done. Yeah, exactly. No, anyway, that's I'm so excited for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah, it'll I'm be as, as is everybody else. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Oh, it's gonna be awful. Um. Uh, all right, Tim Router. Let's do it. New releases this week, January 19th. Nothing. Literally. No. I, I went to the page and it said, no releases this week, but I know there. I'm sure there's a few little downloadable things, Gabe. If you've got them, yeah, I don't them. have. I don't have. I don't have them off there's the like top a, of my head. I wish I did. I saw it last night on the PlayStation Store. I think there was like a skateboarding. Ali 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 Ali. Yeah. Got it. Here, let me find. Let yeah, me but, find. I mean, there's. I did not- see some stuff was coming out. I feel like I feel I could have swore I saw some stuff was coming out. Um, today. Let yeah, me I mean, there's oh, like, wow. it's just that time of year, man. Everything is just like crickets chirping. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a DLC. Dead Rising 3, Operation Broken Eagle. Yes, the huge DLC. Yeah, is that the 13 gigabyte one? Yes. What? I think that's so. 13 I, gigs? Or wait, maybe, maybe that's not. Maybe that's just... Is that a different game? That No, I'm thinking maybe that's just the patch. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I don't wow. have an Xbox One, but Dead Rising 3 is getting a 13 gig Ugh. patch or DLC or something. It's huge. Yeah. You think it's um, a patch and a DLC? It might be a patch before the DLC. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So it's like a patch and then DLC because the game's like 50 gigs. Oof. So a 13 mm. gig patch kind of makes sense, I guess. It's yeah, in the grand board. scheme that's of things, huge. that that's pretty massive. <laughs> um, on the twenty eighth, w- which is next Tuesday, so I guess we don't have to talk about that. Let's see, January twenty eighth. That's next Tuesday. All I know is, isn't the first in the first week of February, Wolf Among Us uh, episode two is coming out? Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I gosh, think I'm so trying excited. to play that right after this podcast. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Um, because I downloaded it last night. Um uh Insurgency <clears throat> Um PC comes out today, the twenty second, the day we're doing this. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. The thing I was looking at was covering like a couple weeks, and so I feel like I saw yeah. a bunch of stuff. No, came they out. like they always have like it, the the site I go to always has like first quarter twenty fourteen releases, and then above that is where all the, the weekly stuff happens. Yeah, but you know, yeah. you know what else came out this week, which me and my wife thoroughly enjoyed last night was uh, that Captain Phillips movie on mm. DVD. Oh, yeah. That was a good movie. I heard it was good. Yeah, it was real good. Um, Tom Hanks was he was in Saving Mr. Banks and Captain Phillips this year. I know. Yeah, he's he's a beast. Wow. He's killing it. Um, top 10. Yes, let's do it. Top selling games. <laughs> I, was like, you, I, was, I was just thinking about like Tom Hanks and blah, blah, blah. And then you went top 10. I'm like, wait, he's in top 10. Oh, no, no, wait. <laughs> top, top 10 Tom Hanks movies. Top <laughs> yeah, 10, top 10. 10. Yeah, go. go. Yeah, and hurry. go. Number, number 10. All right. Hey, uh, Saving top, Private Ryan. <laughs> that's number one for me. Top seven. Is it? Yeah, I that love that. thing you do. I uh, love that <laughs> movie. It's the it's the wonders, not the O'Neaters. The O'Neaters. <laughs> the O'Neaters. Uh, good movie. <laughs> that's the wonders. <laughs> Golly. Right. Week ending oh, January 11th. Number 10. Toy Story 3. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a game and a movie. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's right. Okay, sorry. All right, number 10. Everybody's getting on that health kick. We fit you for the Wii U. What? The? Yeah. Hmm. No, of, there's of no course, way. Of course. Come on. Everyone's doing their New Year's resolutions. It's it's back up. I knew it would. I knew some sort of fitness thing would happen. Should I be offended that somebody bought that for me the first time that came around? Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It was like it was like Christmas or something. It was one of my brother's girlfriend's moms. It's cheaper than a uh, treadmill. 
So it's yeah, like not quite true. my mother-in-law. Yeah. But I, or you just say thanks and then sell it on eBay. Yeah. That's kind of what I did. Yeah. I was like, thanks. And I'd like plugged it up and me and Jenny did like two games and then sold it. Yep. Done. Um, number nine, just dance 2014 for the Wii. Nice. Number mm. eight, Minecraft for the Xbox 360. Ugh, not surprised. <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> number seven, call of duty ghost Xbox one. Ooh, yep. moved up. Yep. Number six, Pokemon XY 3DS. They moved up too. Mm -hmm. Number five, GTA 5 for the PS3. Of course. Number four, NBA 2K14 for the 360. Oh. Number three, GTA 5 for the 360. Number two, Call of Duty Ghosts for the PS3. Number one, Call of Duty Ghosts, Xbox 360. Wow. I'm going to be, yep. I'm going to be saying that for probably the next couple weeks. Easily. You it's really gonna, you will. I think this is going to be a broken record for the next couple of weeks. Um, yep. You know, it's funny. It's interesting to me that like the PS4 in the latter part of, you know, when they came out, I think outsold the Xbox one, but yet does not show up in the top 10 yeah. as people buying hmm. stuff for I it. I, and I think it's the whole digital download thing. Yeah. I, I really be. do. I think this, these, a lot of these charts and it's funny, like I'd spent, a good 45, almost an hour searching for just like any type of collaborative video game chart, weekly chart. Yeah. That I would think it's too much trouble. It is. It's way too, like it's way too much trouble to grab everything off of PSN, everything off of Xbox live, every, you know, all this stuff. Um, yeah, it, nobody does it. Yeah. It's, it's probably impossible. So you kind of have to stick with, with what everybody knows and what is trackable uh, is through brick and mortar retail stores. So, Eventually, they'll move to that. The, I hope so. And, and it, well, it kind of, I mean, I think I've been hearing from a lot of people on our forums that they're purchasing the digital versions of games. So, yeah. Well, like, now, now that you have the storage for it, of course. That, that makes right. sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hall. Oh, sorry. Router, do you want to say something? No, I was just going to say, I'm still old school, man. I actually, I really enjoy going in and looking at, at the cases and pull it and picking a game from there. I think it's fun. Yeah. I like me to feel too. like it's 1992. Yeah. I, so. like, that's, <laughs> I like to look at the back of the box. And, that's how yeah, I like to exactly. get down. <laughs> nice. I was, I was listening to, um, so, uh, retro knots. It's an older podcast from, um, I think it was one up and they did a Kickstarter recently where they relaunched the, the podcast. And I love listening to those episodes. Not only does it remind me of like the way things used to be, but they were talking about how you would go to a video rental store and all you had was the box to go. That's by. it, baby. Yep. <laughs> that was it. I rented so many bad games doing doing that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, you didn't have the information highway that we do now. You know, like mm -hmm. pretty much. It's that's crazy. It was like Gosh. that for everything: movies, music, the whole nine. Well, and even with Nintendo Power, like they would, you know, they would talk about games and they would do reviews for games and stuff. But it was that time when I don't really think they panned a lot of NES stuff. Like they would, you know, talk about bad games, but they wouldn't talk about them in, in a bad way, like a lot of games. Right. So you'd, sure. you'd have them talking good about like LJN games and just, just garbage stuff. So, yeah, I so rented a funny. lot of bad games that way. That's amazing. I'm right there with you. I'm like, well, the graphics are better than I was expecting, but this game sucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, uh, yeah. Like, instead of using the word bad, they would use the word, like, interesting. Yeah. Or, <laughs> you know? yeah, this company said it was a challenge getting this game to the public because X, Y, Z. You're like, oh, because, that's why it's bad. Because it was that terrible. <laughs> yeah. Paul, give us something, brother. All right, we've got a couple of things to talk about. The news is kind of going a little slow, but I did want to bring up this Nintendo thing just because of the rumors going around. Yeah. It's been rumored that Nintendo is going to dive back into development for next gen. Why? Now, the Wii U came out less than two years ago, so that's why this has kind of got me a little skeptical. Yeah, exactly. It'd that they so would abandon early. their current platforms. But the, the rumor is that they'll be developing a handheld and a console in tandem, which I think huh. is, a, is a pretty decent idea. I mean, it's kind yeah, of that's almost great. taken a page out of the uh, PlayStation's book with uh, having, you know, your PS4 home console and then being able to do remote play. Well, that's uh, how it kind of is with the Wii U. Yeah, and, and, and I 
kind of I felt the same way like they were, I, that they were you know taking things off the game pad like and you could play away from your console but that's right. not that doesn't support all games does it well I don't think it does and and also the game pad is not a great handheld hmm. it's not like the Vita you know what I'm saying where the Vita's made to be in your hands mm-hmm. yeah isn't the handheld like a lot bigger and just kind of clumsier the game pad is yeah uh, for sorry, sure game pad yeah yeah hmm. This is interesting to me because it kind of, like, I, I want to say, like, it kind of makes sense for them to kind of rejuvenate it a little bit, but I don't know if switching to another platform would help them just because they're right. establishing the 3DS right now. Like, the 3DS is doing pretty well yeah, as far as not, handhelds are concerned. The 3DS is going nowhere, man. I mean, it's 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 going to be, not, and not in a bad sense, like, there that's going to be around forever because look at all the great games that we always talk about on these charts. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not, it is here to stay. I think that's that's kind of, that's where they need to stay. But yeah. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of with you, Hall. I think it's interesting, um, but I don't know. We'll see. It's too soon, man. They, yeah. they. I wish this rumor wasn't even out because it's almost like admitting defeat. Yeah, I know that. That's um, that's the thing that kind of disappoints me because they did say that their push when they released the Wii U, they focused on the wrong thing. They focused on the core gamer, and that's not really. Nope. Like if they're, if they're going yeah. to focus on the core gamer, they need to, you know, put the Wii U out there as an alternative, you know, something that you own next to your big boy system, you know, or your mm. next gen console or I, what have you. I will say that the commercials that they had over the holidays focused on family night, family game night. That's where they need to be. That they, was a great yeah, ad, ad I mean, campaign. Need, gracious. They it need was to great. fit right in there because everybody that has like younger kids, they're playing Just Dance or they're having a family video game night. And you're not going to, you know, I don't, I don't think the Xbox One is there for like a family night. I don't think the PS4 is there. Wii U is the way to go because mm-hmm. those are the type of games and that's where they need to focus on. But you know what, though? Amen. To go back to your previous point, they've already admitted defeat. Just look at the sales of the Wii U. Everybody knows it. So it, yeah. I don't think it's any surprise. I think what they're doing is the Wii, they're taking the hit at, with the Wii U as a loss. They put a ton of money into it, which, you know, the, they can expense and, you know, we we cannot forget that Nintendo is still a huge powerhouse. They have oh, yeah. they have tons of money, so they, this is probably a drop in the bucket to them. Yep. It's unfortunate that their what they expected of the Wii U did not you know it didn't meet their expectations, but they still have a ton of backing, so they can pretty much do whatever they want. They they took tiny steps in the in a great direction of where we could go. Now I think they just need to get their R and D together and put all their money into that so that they can come up with something that'll blow everyone's mind again, like the original Wii did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's interesting to me because I feel like I wish they would hunker down and work on console selling games. You know what I'm saying? Like router, you're gonna get a Wii U because of Mario Kart. Of course, I got a Wii U because of the Mario Brothers games and the and Mario Kart. And so I feel like they could put those games out and sell their system instead of dumping too much money in what I think is a premature attempt at trying to figure out what what's next. I agree. I think that they're big disadvantage this time around. Like like you you think back to the original Wii. It was coming out next to the PlayStation 3, which was $600. The yeah. Nintendo Wii was 250, less than yeah. half the price. They were coming out with the Wii U at was it was it 349? Three. Yeah. I think I can't, so. I can't remember the exact price, but the one everybody yeah, wanted to low, buy was more still. expensive. Um Right. But it was coming out as more expensive than the consoles we had on the market. So it's coming right, out as a yeah. comparable system to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, but it's vastly more expensive at that point. You know, by that right. time the 360 and the PS3 were 200 bucks, right? Uh, yeah. So it, it was coming out yeah. at more expensive. So it was like a harder proposition because if you are a parent and you go to the store to get your, you know, kid a console, you know, the 360 looked enticing. It was $200. There were tons of games on the shelf. Even yeah. though like it's marketed towards the core gamer and the older mature gamer, 
um, they still had tons of kids games, tons more than at that point the Wii U had. If you count out, uh, you know, cross compatibility with the Wii. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. they were just much more disadvantaged with the launch of the Wii U. And maybe it would have, it would have helped them to wait until next gen, like wait until PS4 and the Xbox one came out. Yeah. I mean, and it was, it was just a too small a step. Well, and they wanted to jump the gun on the, the next gen consoles anyway. I think, that was part of their I think that was part of their marketing plan is like, hey, we've got a next generation console right now before like That's mon- true. months before everything else. But it, it it wasn't next gen to the core gamer, which is who they were trying to plug. And the, the other problem was a lot of the the common family households that aren't necessarily gamers, but like to have a game night said, oh, well, I already have a Wii. Why do I need a Wii U? That's that, true. That was the biggest confusion that I heard from so many people. It's like, no, I already have a Wii. Why do I need the Wii U? Just because of the con- the control pad. And you know that- why that happened? Because the Wii opened up so many people that never played video games before exactly. to video games. And so the confusion came in because people didn't know what they were talking about. We all knew what the difference was. You know what I'm well, saying? You ask a real game and they're like, oh, well, it's the next one. They added this game pad. I don't think it's this big enough step, so I'm not going to get it. Where yeah. other people, the people that they needed to buy it were like, well, okay, so I, I still use the Wiimote? You're like, yeah. They're like, well, then why do I I'm need using this? that now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. yeah. but, but Gabe, you raised a really interesting point for me personally too because the Wii is actually what did get me be- back into video games because I got that for Christmas. Mm. You know, mm. I, I played, you know, Wii Sports and then pick, and then picked up things like Call of Duty and of course Mario Kart. And that's what, if you think about it, that's what got me back into games and I wanted to take it to the next step. So then I got a PS3. For the normal average family household, the Wii is pretty much all you need. So right. maybe, maybe that's their angle and maybe that's what they're going for. I think they were brilliant over the holidays doing a family focused commercials. That was a great campaign. Maybe. And it made perfect sense. Like, like that didn't confuse me at all. Maybe that's what they're going for. I have no idea. It's going to be very, very interesting. Yeah. I, I mean, we're all rooting for them. I mean, we're all very excited. To, you know, whatever does happen, you know, I just, I just want to stop saying, oh, poor Nintendo. You know, I like I really want them to just come out guns blazing and just school everybody. Yeah. I don't want them to turn into the next N word. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, ooh, 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 whoa, 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 easy, easy. Oh, oh, like, talk oh, about Nintendo oh, this, like po- that. this podcast just got heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hall, give us something else. The Microsoft Machinima dealio. Oh, goodness. People are upset. I don't know why people are upset because this kind of stuff happens all the time. Explain what you're talking about. So getting an additional ad bonus for basically talking up the Xbox One, the the exact wording was um, that you can make an Xbox One video for YouTube, uh, but you can't say anything negative or disparaging about... Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Well, we got to back up just a little bit. So Microsoft started partnered with Machinima for Machinima's like YouTube stars, like the people that are affiliated no, with that's that stuff. I did not know. Yeah. So they partnered with machinima and gave them money wow. for, for to, for Xbox one promotion. Okay. So pretty it's an, much. So it's an ad buy essentially. They, yeah, yes, they, it's they an bought ad buy. Yeah. They bought advertising. And okay. so what exactly. happened was the, like, so machinima will go to their big YouTube channels and they said, Hey, if you say, talk about the Xbox for at least, 30 seconds uh and talk you know well about it um then we'll give you a bonus of three dollars per every thousand person that watch thousand views wow and so huh. but it was capped it wasn't like this huge giant ginormous numbers but uh it, it did have a cap on it but people are really upset and like you know because i guess machine is supposed to be objective yeah right it's supposed yeah. to be in the neutral well, by gamers for gamers kind of thing, right. right and so when you start getting paid to just talk one side up that starts getting you a little one, yeah that's, you know one side heavy i mean I, I understand the ad buy part of it but to try and tell people hey talk once you get into hey talk great about this and we'll pay you then you're like then that's when the line crosses right well, being in marketing and advertising like honestly 
this didn't surprise me at all. Oh yeah, it happens all Be- the time. It, it it does. It's you know it's payola. The thing about advertisers and manufacturers, and I talk about this a lot at work, is it's a symbiotic relationship. Mm-hmm. Advertisers need manufacturers to make stuff. Manufacturers need advertisers to promote stuff. And with these kind of deals, this is kind of how it goes, is that they don't talk bad about your stuff. So, for instance, if somebody reviews a product, I mean, this is obviously a lot different with the uh, gaming news sites now. But, you know, for instance, let's talk about manufacturing. If somebody reviews your product in manufacturing in a magazine, if you're an advertiser, they're not going to give you a they're, they're going to lean more towards the good, but they're not going to give a definite score on anything. So, for instance, right. with Pro Audio Magazine, they never give, like, a score. So hmm. They just write some, about it. Exactly. Some, yeah. Somebody releases, like, a, um, a product, and that magazine, like I said, will talk about the good, talk about the bad. They'll kind of make, like, a sandwich. Good, bad, good, bad kind of thing. So they're hmm. not really – they're not going too far to one side, if that makes sense. They're just kind of being general. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, that's how they secure advertising because they need the advertising to keep making the magazine. They need the manufacturer. The manufacturer needs the magazine to keep talking about the product. So, yeah. like I said, it's right. a symbiotic relationship. And that's why I'm not surprised about this at all, honestly. The, the only difference in that scenario, though, is that the video game industry is so based on a score of some sort. Seven exactly. out of ten, eight out of ten. Not, it's, it's, it's just like the movie industry. The uh, movie industry exactly. and the gaming industry are pretty much. You don't think that the some people got paid. That. You don't think that some people, critics, quote unquote, movie critics, got paid big bucks just to throw slap a quote uh, to talk about uh, a movie, saying that it was great. I'm sure that stuff happens all the time. Oh, yeah. of course. So um, Microsoft said this. Uh, they released a statement yesterday because I guess the internet was a freaking tizzy about it um microsoft was not aware of individual contracts machinima machinima had with their content providers as part of this promotion and we didn't provide feedback on any of the videos um we have asked machinima to not post any additional xbox one content as part of this media buy and we have asked them to add disclaimers to the videos that were part of this program indicating that they were part of paid advertising so microsoft's like hey we we were just trying to hook up with machinima what machinima did with the money is you know out of our control so you know that's probably not completely true but um it's just weird that people got so upset it's funny because like i feel like that's what commercials are. I remember uh, hearing Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle said, Dave Chappelle said, I've done commercials for Coke and Pepsi. He said, but Pepsi's <laughs> paid me most recently, so they taste better. <laughs> See? Exactly. Bingo. I was like, yeah. that's how this works. You know what I'm saying? Money, it makes the world go around. Head, man. Man, money Do you talks. think those that's old people line. selling? Yeah. When you think those old people selling Depends and Dentures are like itching to do that it's like no because they got paid jack they want half them people ain't even got wearing depends <laughs> <laughs> i crap on myself all the time <laughs> when you crap on yourself get you some depends <laughs> i just thought about oops i crap my pants yeah. <laughs> sorry i love yeah so um it's come out that ea has done the same thing and well, i mean sure if, it if people dig yeah i mean if people dig everybody's done it well it's mostly i mean these a lot of these companies hire outside uh, marketing efforts. Mm-hmm. So Microsoft probably hired a couple of different marketing companies, and this was one marketing company's way. Um, yeah. To, yeah. To spread the word. You're right. Typically, exactly. typically, if they know an outlet, like if there's a marketing company, for instance, that knows Machinima, they probably dealt with them on this level before. This is nothing new. Exactly. So, and Machinima but, probably uses a third-party advertising company anyway so it's just like getting the two of them then together and then they came up with this and whatever yeah yeah it's, i mean it's it happens all the time yep so um did you guys hear about uh king.com yes <laughs> <laughs> so uh king.com the creators of candy crush have successfully trademarked the word candy oh, for mobile crap. games unbelievable isn't that crazy crap they've been working on it for like a year and uh, finally got it, I think, on the 21st. Like, it just just happened. Of it's just in all candy games have been ceased. <laughs> no more M&M's game. Or, no or more crushed. Skittles game. Or crushed. All of a sudden, no. Hershey, 
Just candy, I think. I know. That's so Okay, st- Crush Orange Soda no longer has a game in development. No. <laughs> all kinds of stuff, man. Um, so all games, even before, that have come out with the name Candy on them, they can go after um, if you're a mobile game. Obviously, it has to make sense. It's not like, you know, is candy good? Right. And you have some, you know, lock it down. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> app, <laughs> there app goes that. candy crack. There goes candy crack. Like, oh yeah, candy crack. That's candy not crack is long gone, brother. <laughs> um, so, uh, candy casino slots creator Benny Sue, uh, he got this letter from the people at Candy Crush. He actually said it came through Apple's legal department, which is a little sounds really dangerous. Mm, but it says your use of candy slots in your app icon uses our candy trademark exactly for identical goods, which amounts to trademark infringement and is likely to lead to consumer confusion and damage our brand. And you said that came through Apple's legal this, department. That's what this, that's what this guy said. I think it came through. It said both. In the in the oh, story okay. I read, well, they probably um, had to send a letter to both the actual developer and because Apple uh, has that through iTunes or through the Apple Store, they probably had to send it there as well because they they actually provide the purchasing power. Yeah, to do so. maybe. Yeah, it said the addition of only the descriptive term "slots" does nothing to lessen the likelihood of confusion. Hmm. Here's my question: Hey, Grandma. You should play this game called Candy Crush. What? Candy slots? No, right. Candy Crush. <laughs> okay, well, I'm downloading Candy Slots. You're like, <laughs> Candy Crush. Oh, I'm spinning these wheels. It's got fruit on it and candies. <laughs> You're like, are you, are, you matching, are you matching them up? No. Okay, and then her go to her friend next week and be like, this Candy Crush game sucks. I mean, that's what they're worried about is like <laughs> right. some kind of confu- y'all are making millions and millions of dollars, man. It's just, it's, it just shows how greedy we can be as a people. Like once we start getting a little money, then we want to hoard all the money. So I'm going to trademark the word candy. Oh yeah. Well, you, and honestly, they are, it's all about once you have a brilliant idea and you're making a ton of money, it's all about protecting it. And so this is just, I think it's kind of a weird way of doing it. Uh, in fact, this was one of our, our Twitter questions from Xcore570. He said, how do you feel about King, creator of Candy Crush, trying to trademark the word candy? So we're answering that for you, brother. Um, it's like, it's all about protecting yourself nowadays because it's so funny, like on a small scale with Lauren's business and the stationary business, like you start putting together a, a pattern for like an envelope liner or something. Next thing you know, like two weeks down the road, it's in tra- it's in Target and some other companies taking that. And they basically they may have changed one or two things here or there. And then, you know, they they sell it to Target and make a ton of money. It's it it's all about protecting. I just think it's a little bit too far. But well, it, it's too far when you're making two hundred and fifty six million dollars a day. Right. Exactly. It wow. doesn't. Yeah, it not doesn't really. It's not it, really actually that much. It's six hundred and something thousand. Right. But it like, doesn't make it, sense you know. for King to really go after a, a trademark for something like this. It just it sounds kind of stupid to do that because of all the money they've made. But they're just trying to protect their competition. I mean, what happened? Yeah. Did the letter all of a sudden turn into one of those package thing and explode in everybody's face once they read it? <laughs> yeah. I this mean, come on. Like everybody, everybody knows Candy Crush. Everybody plays Candy Tr- Crush. I'm sure everybody has purchased at some point levels on Candy Crush. It's done. But they're they're doing it, I guess, to protect a long term uh, relationship down the road, and just yeah. you know, whatever. It's just it's just. But, I think, but they're locking me, down the word candy. It, like know. my thing is, if if you lock down candy in a matchmaking game, exactly, if then I that's were, different. If I were you know? Hershey's, yeah, I'd be, that makes more sense. If I were Hershey's, I'd be pissed right now. You know, if, you know, if I was like, Candyland, I'd be pissed. Exactly. Oh man, <laughs> we the OGs of putting candy in our That's name. Don't exactly tell us we can't right. put candy in our name. And speaking no more. of, we need to trademark the word "the" for apps, <laughs> so we can make a ton of money. That makes you just, are infringing all my rights to use the word "the." Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, that's that's essentially what this is. What this is the 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 problem with this? I'm really surprised it actually passed because. Candy is more associated with food than it is a game. I don't know how they got this trademark, seriously, because it, it seems like it would be confusing 
and inconsistent with what it is. Because well, they got they got a trademark for one thing, so like they can do it in apps. Like if somebody were to release anything else with candy, like even if it was like a PC game, I imagine that they can't do anything about it. That's I true. would hope not. I well, think it's just in mobile apps. Well, that was the yeah, thing. Mobile. Is, oh, okay, so. so the trademark is only for mobile. I'm, pr- yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, apps. that makes sense because I thought, holy cow, there's no way they could get a trademark. Yeah, but for- even but even that, I feel like. So you've come up with a great idea, and it, but it's not like monopoly. You right, know what I'm right. saying? It's not like some word that we don't really use all that often. Like you could have candy, a bunch of different things, and maybe the when it comes down to it, lawyers will be able to protect. Um, the different things, like if they start getting a little out of hand with trying to send these people these, you know, these letters. Well, he- yeah, here's a scenario. What if Hershey's created a, a mobile app that was like Hershey's candy creation or something like that? Then that would fall under the candy, the king's yeah, they wouldn't uh, be able to I do it. So. So they I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't think they'd be able to do it. So that's that's an interesting scenario. However, if they came out with a board game, they'd be fine with it. You know, it's they'd just, be fine with it. Yeah, it's it's all about just protecting them and. And just, you know, in their genre, in what they're doing, they're just trying to save their butts. I get it. It's a little excessive. You right. have the money. You already have everybody's money. Right. You know, now you're just giving it to the lawyers. I kind of understand on some angle what they're yeah, doing. Do beca- because do you, you do see a lot of imitation games and the icons look the same. So, you know, then you could have people releasing games like Candy Slide. And they make the icon look just like Candy yep. Crush, or you know. So I understand on some level, but mm-hmm. I I, but you, I wonder but, if they did this just because Candy Crush is such a phenomenon. You know what I mean? And that's what they it, said. Yeah. They said they were doing it because they were there. Everybody's wanting to rip them off. Yeah, and I get that. But like, mm-hmm. if you're like Candy, all you know, all Candy Slots Casino, that that to me doesn't sound like candy crush no not at all well just look at poor bejeweled i mean that's this is where that yeah, they should be suing candy crush exactly <laughs> if anything bejeweled should be the ones that that are pissed off right now because i mean they took the the same and th- that's exactly what and, happens and w- where was where was match three actually created like where did it originate dominoes I'm just kidding. I have no idea. But like, you know what I'm saying? You can look at the Tetris. I mean, the the shapes of how you do it a lot of the time or, you know, freaking bubble bobble or whatever. Yeah. There's a million games. That There's use, a million games you know. like that. And, and it all stems from somebody had a great idea. Somebody takes that idea, tweaks it. And that, that's exactly what Candy Crush did. And they made a fortune doing it. And, you know, kudos to them for for doing it. But this kind of stuff happens all the time. I see it everywhere. I see it in design. I see it in games. I see like people mm-hmm. have a great idea. Everybody's really excited about it. And then that person takes it to the next level. It's the same idea, just, you know, kind of dressed up a little bit differently. And then, then they make a ton of money off of it. Hmm. This is how it goes. Yeah. Um, on a lighter note, a friend of mine, um, took a picture of a, a business on Monday that was, you know, obviously off work because of the holidays and said, happy Memorial Day. Oh, boy. Oh I was boy. like, Martin Luther King Jr. How Day. about Martin Luther King? <laughs> <laughs> happy yeah. Memorial wow. I love it, that. That's weird. I uh, love it. Our education system at its finest. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Speaking of, thank you for the segue, sure. Router. No problem. A school in Norway is using um, The Walking Dead, the game by Telltale, to teach ethics. I'm going to Norway. I, exactly. <laughs> Dude, so, that's, that is brilliant. What a great idea. I know. So they play through the game and they vote on the decisions and then discuss the outcomes hmm. of the decisions uh, oh, from The Walking wow. Dead. I like that a lot. And I think that's so creative and I think that's great and that teacher is obviously a gamer and in a ball uh, hats off that's yeah. that's so creative i love Do you know that. what the age group was i don't i want to say it was high school though oh that makes sense is it like a in norway do they have public schools or is that a private school i have no idea have no it was idea. a short story because the whole the whole the blur the whole thing i saw on it like the television piece was all in another language so it was kind hmm. of roughly that's- translated that's a great idea. As long as you didn't say like, oh, they're showing it to preschoolers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that, I right. wonder. That, that is like a bug. really, really cool. Wow. What a, idea. what a great idea. What a great idea. Great idea. You got like anything that. else? Nope, that's it. 
Dude, we get to give away something today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's pretty fun, right? Love that. Me too. Um, we want to do it now or after the questions? Let's do it now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you know where to find us. Yeah, do it. I'll do it while I bring up these names real quick. So I, I got a <laughs> random. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash married to the games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Uh, married to the games.com. Married to the games.com slash forum. We have a lot of fun over there. It's a mature gaming community. So that's right. No, uh, no kids running around. No need to chaperone. It's a pretty mature place to talk. Yeah, it's been great. Um, and we got other stuff, right? Oh, rate us on iTunes. Rate yeah, us on Stitcher. You can. I think you can rate us on Stitcher. So, oh, really? Did they add yeah, a rating anywhere system? you listen to us? Yeah, I think they have a rating system. Anywhere you listen to us, please give us a review or rate us because that helps us in some strange way that we don't understand. <laughs> but we'll take all. it. <laughs> but we'll take it any which but way we'll we can. <laughs> That's and if funny. not, just Google search "Married to the Games" and you'll see us. Yeah. And the easiest way, I think, I think the easiest way to review us on iTunes, I think you can do it straight through the podcast app. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I think you're right, but because some people did ask us, like, "Well, do they even still have reviews? Like, how do I do this?" Mm. It's either through the podcast app or you can use iTunes on your computer to yeah, rate us. All that, either or. But please rate us. Yeah. Also, feel free to email mailbag at married to the games if you have questions. That's yeah. right. Questions or comments. Nice. We've been getting quite a bit more, which is great. These guys awesome. need to get in the practice because I might not be here next week. Oh, oh crap. Crap. Is that, the, is that the week? It's the week. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, so on um, Saturday, we're driving, well, Friday night, uh, Toby and gang are driving down to Miami. Wait, wait, this Friday or next this Friday? This Friday. Uh-oh. We're getting on a boat. I'm on a boat. <laughs> and. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's show day. <laughs> <laughs> I love that video. We got to put that up. I got to put oh, that up this yeah. week. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, we'll be getting on a cruise ship and doing a show, two shows Sunday night. Um, and then Monday morning getting off the boat in Jamaica and uh, he's flying all the wives and we're going to be in Jamaica from Monday to Friday. That's awesome. And so that includes Wednesday when we usually record this podcast. So I've got my fingers crossed that I'll be able to, you're going to miss us. Oh gosh. (laughs) I really don't want to. You have no idea how much it killed me that I couldn't be on the one episode that I was not on. It was kill. I like had a tear almost. I'm like, I, w- I was actually going. I wonder what they're talking about now. I wonder what they're talking about now. Are they talking about me? Oh, are they talking about me again? That's right. Is it episode all good? six. Uh, yeah, that was a long so. time ago. That was a long time ago. That yeah, was. A, yeah, dang. It still yeah. brings a tear to my heart. Yeah, he missed <laughs> one right at the very top. Are you regretting watching Captain Phillips before going on a cruise? <laughs> you know what's funny? I didn't even think of that. That's funny. But I'm getting now off pretty quick, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Shout out to Toby for, for doing yeah, something for like doing that. Yeah, for doing that. Really, Taking all the wives really and cool. we're staying at his uh, father-in-law's and uh, it's going to be pretty crazy. So uh, it'll be. And you're going to have all the internet. I'm hoping I have all the internet of all <laughs> Jamaica. Uh, I'm going to need it. Um, the uh, His. Um, and oh, we're not taking Amara. It's no, wow. it's no kid. So it's five days away. <laughs> That's and amazing. I guess she is days. old enough to take care of herself now. Yeah, yeah exactly. She's gonna, so she's going to be here with Sadie, our dog. <laughs> That's right. And uh, they're just going to, you know, do life next week. Um, party let her out Pati- three times a day. <laughs> party, party at the Patilla's house all week next exactly. week. Um, Amara's throwing down. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we will, um, Jenny's going to be a mess. Yeah, yeah. You're you're gonna be like okay, cool, see ya. Well, Just I'm like, so used to it, but yeah, I'm not used true. to being gone with her, not with Jenny. Right, so if right, Jenny right. even talks about it for more than five minutes, she starts tearing up. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's how it is, man. So hopefully, I'm here next week. But if you hear Hall doing this, do oh yes, yes, y'all, Hall. Oh, oh yes, yes, y'all. Oh, Lord. no, oh, is that boy oh, you're gonna do it? 
<laughs> I'm not going cue. to Jamaica if you're doing it like I was that. Go, I was hearkening back to episode one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes yes y'all that's true i i used to say oh yes yes y'all really subdued and quickly i'm not sure when it turned into well the, oh, we'll yes, be bringing yes, it, it back today. next week how's that i'm gonna try to turn into the micro machines guy oh nice oh really fast oh yeah. yes yes y'all i'll try to do that that'd be awesome <laughs> um okay let's give away a game we have three weeks of giveaways you can enter every week. This week is Lost Planet 3 for the Xbox 360. Next week is Assassin's Creed 4 for the PlayStation 3. And the week after that is Killer is Dead for the Xbox 360. Sweet. And how do they enter the contest? Well, we were going to do a website thing. And then we were like, uh. Ah. <laughs> that's not as fun as doing it on Twitter. And so we did it on Twitter. So what we'll do is we'll post a picture. We'll say, do you want this game? Retweet, a, retweet this tweet. And, you know, you must be following MTTG cast to be entered. And we are choosing you at random. And I'm doing it right now. Somebody want to give me some music. <laughs> Good choice of song. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. And stop. Tim Router. All right. No. Thank you, everybody. Woo. Anime 7 J Storm 9. Sweet. His uh his all about me is about me. Well, I'm a gamer and an anime junkie and a WWE fan and big fan of NBA Miami Heat. Love Toonami and TNA and also TNA. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh Champ Sports Fanatic. Hashtag awesome. PS4, hashtag PS3, hashtag Xbox 360, hashtag Xbone. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So about awesome. to be Lost Planet 3 fan. Lost yeah. Planet 3. So J Storm at Anime 7 J Storm 9 will be getting Lost Planet 3. And I'm glad to, I'm glad to do this. Share it all. Share Congre the love. Let's do this. Let me write his name down so I don't accidentally send it to somebody else. <laughs> Cuz that could happen. Um That's cool. By the way, our Twitter we are now over past the 8,000 mark. Just just in case you do, you wanted to know, we have a total of as of today 8,122 followers. Boom. That is amazing. I get like it's just it's so cool. I love it. I love this community. You guys are amazing. And if any chance we have to give away stuff as a kind of a thank you and and pay it forward as it were, yeah. we will. And this That's giveaway right. that is, is awesome. Yeah, it's incredible. And this giveaway is brought to you by the score online. You yeah. Can, uh best place to buy and trade video games out of Franklin, Tennessee. Check them out online, thescoreonline.com. Uh, you can follow them on Twitter at um, score online and facebook.com slash the score online. They're awesome. They are sponsoring this uh, three weeks of giveaways and uh, we're going to keep it moving. Let's get into some questions. Mailbag at Married to the Games from Sweet. our boy Lucas Ham Swisher. Oh, He's one yes. of our boys down in Brazil. Brazil, he said, stand up. Brazil represent. Hey, fellas, this is one of your boys down in Brazil, of course. I wanted to wish you guys a late Happy New Year since I hadn't sent in a question this year. And thank you guys for providing a clean and entertaining podcast that I can listen to while I drive to work or wash the dishes. Sweet. Two completely different things. <laughs> Hopefully he's not <laughs> driving to work while washing the dishes. While washing dishes, exactly. <laughs> so, nice. so my question, are you guys ever jealous of those who get to play more video games than you? Either because it's their job or they just have more free time or their wives play video games with them. I ask because I really recently reached the same trophy level as a friend of mine who has had his PS3 for about three and a half years longer than me, and he has been pretty upset. How about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, Lucas, you're a beast for like cranking out all those games yeah, and good getting job. trophy levels like yeah, that. That is time. awesome. Um, of course I'm jealous from other people <laughs> that play more video games than yeah. I do. Especially if I could get paid to do this, it would oh, be amazing. Gosh. I'd also be 500 pounds, but it would be amazing. <laughs> now, we'd do some bike riding. Yeah, that, we do a little. Maybe. We do a little. We, we fit 
maybe something like that. Yeah, we fit yeah, you. Exactly. We just we review fit you. we fit you. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple and then after, times. And then after five seconds of pure sweat, we'd stop. Exactly. But yeah, of course we I would be jealous. Like I I always want to play video games, but that's how life is. And you just you have to compromise, you have to adjust, you have to schedule. Amen. But uh yeah, it's but it, either way, as long as you're playing a game of some sort and having fun, that's all that matters. Exactly. I'll tell you, I am not jealous of the people that review games for oh, a living me or play neither. a lot. Because because I could see them getting like burnout. And plus, you got to review stuff that you don't really want to play. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like with us kind of being outside of that, that working outside of that business, we play games that we actually want to play. Yeah, we get yeah. to pick so. and choose. Which Except for great. Assassin's Creed Three for I'm um, for router, <laughs> right? Which I was excited <laughs> about, and even like even listening to some previous episodes, like I was excited I, as I was going through. I'm like, oh, this is really good. This is really good. And then <laughs> toward the end, you were like, uh, you you could hear me just you could hear my <laughs> dive off. I was like, wah wah. <laughs> Router's innocence. That's right. Yeah. It was, it's my it's my excited uh, naive. What is it? Naivety. Naivete. Naivete, something like that. Naivete. Something anyway, like that. Um, how about you, Mr. Patillo? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with Hall. Hall made a good point. I, I'm not jealous of people that have to play video games for a living. Because yeah. once you do it for a living, then you have to do it. And I love that it's still fun in games for me. Yeah. And of course, I'd love of to play a little bit more. I mean, shoot, who doesn't like, want to do a little bit more of what they love to do? That's right. There's a bunch uh, of know, stuff I I wish I could do a little bit more of. To add to that, I think I would be more jealous of the the people that like do a lot of game plays and get paid to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, because they get to pick. Like I know a bunch of uh, YouTubers that, that have been around for a place, while. Yeah, yeah, and that's all they do, and that's that's their job, and they can pick and choose what they want, and I think that's hmm. awesome. I think that's awesome. That's a good point. Unlike me with Outlast. <laughs> you, yeah, that's not your choice. Brother, that's you not my not, choice, and I still have, have to a do choice. it. That's that's the two of us' choice, and about eighty one hundred other Twitter followers are all. That's like that's their uh, choice as well. I want everybody to know too. I set up Twitch, and I linked all right. it all to my PS4, all trying right. to get ready. So I I need to test out Twitch first. Okay, so I don't really know how it works just yet, but we'll get there. And how, do you? And I'll just come down to you. And do you want me to play it, or you have to play it first? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We can do whatever. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's. I, I mean, unless people just want to see like me, I I have no idea. We'll figure it out. <laughs> it's gonna be awful. Uh, maybe you do a cha- <laughs> if it, if it's like a chapter based thing. Maybe you do the first chapter. I'll do the next, yeah. and you watch. Yeah, exactly. I think, it, I think it's gonna be different if you play it versus watching it. Yeah, I'll be way, more be, scared playing it. Either way, it's going to be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. At the Joelness, Joel Ramirez, how many platinum trophies do you you guys each have? I have none due to a, due to <laughs> commitment issues. <laughs> Joel, I love it, man. That's awesome. I have commitment one, issues. I have one. Thank you, Walking Dead, and that's probably the only platinum I'll ever get because I'm with you. Like I, I can't commit to 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 doing something that extensive for a platinum trophy. It's just, yeah. it's, I don't think it's in the cards Same for me here. I have one walking dead. Yep. And yeah, I really, it made me realize like I almost got the mass effect Two one. Did you really? I, I had like 77%. So oh, I was man. pretty close. Yeah, I mean, still, good. still had a bit to do, but nah, not chasing it's, that down. It, it sucks. The games that I play the most, like the NBA jams, the ones that I put hours into, and hours and hours don't have platinum trophies. Really? So hmm. even like this Ali Ali game that's coming out for the Vita, uh, it looks super fun, but it's not going to have a platinum. And so it's like, oh, that's one of those games I could see myself playing all the time and wanting to do everything. Uh, but no. Uh, awesome. So I just have the one to the Walking Dead one. And I think that I almost wanted to gua- do the one for Guacamelee because it's not that far off. But they say tear away is within reach. Oh, there it's, you go. it's a pretty easy platinum. So I'll look up that after I beat that game and see there you go. what I need to do. Mm. I just don't like having to replay a whole game. Yeah. So I'm like with you. Guacamelee, they were like, yeah, play back through this on hard. I was like, nah, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of the same way. I think that's what held me back from mass effect too, is that you had to play it again. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Not doing that. And that's, that's epic. That's another, that's a whole nother month of your life that you won't get back. Exactly. All right. Our boy at Stancil, freaking Stancil, freaking Stancil. All right. His, his question in the game we're all dreaming of 
aptly titled Tiger Claw Scratch Fest. <laughs> what actors would portray? <laughs> what actors would portray each of you? Well, shoot, Ooh. I don't know. But dude, if you're developing it, we got to jump on this right away. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh, who could play? Who could play Hall Router? Oh man, I know I who could play Gabe. If well, Kevin, if if Kevin acting, Smith was but, uh, was smaller, he could do. Yeah, he could be Hall. Yeah, he could be. No, Hall. I, I, I've uh, a lot of people have told me I looked like like back when I didn't have a beard, I looked like Jack Black, and now that I have a beard, I look like Zach yeah. Galifianakis. There you go, Zach so, Galifianakis. That's uh, a big jump. <laughs> that's yeah, that's a Jack wide Black range of people. Zach Galifianakis is kind of a big leap, but I like. <laughs> well, it. I had long hair and no beard. And then oh. they switch places. Man, uh, gotcha. Everybody tells me there's a there's a character on on the TV series Psych that I that they say I look like. Somebody hmm. somebody confused me for Dirk's Bentley too. <laughs> Are that you I serious? Could see. That yeah. I could see. So I'll, I can uh, see Dirk's Bentley yeah, a little bit. I'll, I'll take Dirk's. I don't care. Yeah, I've got. I, mean, I, um, I wonder who could play Gabe. I, you, I think every black guy on the planet that's bald. <laughs> <laughs> According to some people, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess, you know, from freaking uh, Hootie to Suge Knight. So just oh, take your pick. Suge Knight, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I will hang you over a balcony by your legs. Uh, death row. All right. Anyway, <laughs> wait a second. It's it's a it's a game featuring actors who portray us. So we got to get people that look better than we do. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Suge Knight we, wouldn't be the best Gabe, choice. We could do like uh, it's still gotta be Darius. Yeah, probably Darius. Yeah, he's still, good looking he's guy. still better looking, <laughs> even though he's like <laughs> twelve years older than me. <laughs> and no, I'll, get, that, uh, I'll get I'll uh, get Brad Pitt. There you go. All right. Hall, Hall Ra- gets Brad Pitt. Yeah. See, Router gets to stay with his doppelganger. That's, That's right. Up. I'll I'll stick with my <laughs> doppelganger. I don't care. Thank yeah, you. Exactly. Thank you, Stancil. And we're looking forward to the development of Tiger Claw Scratch Fest. It'll be yeah, amazing. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome. All right. <laughs> At it's Wandry- have that one sound effect that like yeah. every tiger that you see it on television does like Wah! it's like this all right i'm going back in the day it's like the thundercats like the oh, wow nice. <laughs> yeah. there you go oh. I'm, I'm bringing it back anyway like it. all right wandering mind s uh at wandering mind s uh steven kwami what games are you excited to teach your kids to play is it video games board games sports etc I'm Ooh. all about every every kind of game. I mean, we got uh, for Christmas we got um, Piper Candy Candyland, which clearly she can't play yet. But you know, we're starting with we, we always start with like the basics, the Candylands. But man, that Wii U, when that Wii U or Wii whatever Nintendo kicks in, I, I don't know. I just can't wait to see her face when she starts to be when she can a have the motor skills co- to control everything. But when she starts to play whatever game it is, I'm just I'm gonna be such a proud papa. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I think video game wise, Mario, just yeah, standard Mario. Be, right? If she was like actually can work it, like that's probably the first one. And then like an outside game, I don't even know how to play this, but I don't know why I think it would be fun with my daughter, but like tennis. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I like idea. tennis for some reason. And so, yeah, tennis and Mario Brothers. Oh, Where so the uh, NES tennis game. Awesome. There you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Super tennis. What about Virtual you, Virtual tennis. Um, I can't wait for the retro N5. So, hey. I mean, basically, it's, you know, the five console and one thing. So, Dude, I'm telling you, Hall's kids are going to be like beasts by the time they're five years old. Oh, they're going to be in freaking they're tournaments. Gonna school, they're going to be in tournaments schooling everybody because they're going to know so much about the history of video games. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm telling wait. you, th- those old games are, are built so well for kids. Sure. So, like, motor skills and the difficulty is really high. I mean, it's just all there. Yeah. Um, but I think that... Um, you know, my kids will be into sports too. Krista and I both grew up uh, playing sports, and like she did uh, gymnastics, I did swimming. Yep. Uh, I'm sure our kids will do stuff similar. So sweet. Yeah, it's it's it, th- just think about your childhood and how you grew up. Like we all kind of did something. We did some sort of sports, or we played. We had family night where we played board games, like yep. Monopoly or that kind of stuff. It's yeah, because there was no such thing as Minecraft back then. Right. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's all good, though. Great question. Love that. Uh, I love those kind of questions. Um, at the Panda Robot. Nice. If, 
you rented a time machine for a day, where and when would you go and why? Future. I would, go, I would go back to when the Powerball was, what, $400 million? <laughs> <laughs> So you'd pull it back to the future, too? I would totally pull it back to the future, too, kind of a thing. I think it'd be amazing. Nice. Nice. That's Hall. me. Um, Router has a really good idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The one that nah. the thing that scares me about that idea is like you have to deal with who you were when you won it, and then go back to the present time and see if you didn't jack yourself up. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. the only thing that worries me about that. I've lived long enough without it; I'd be fine. Yeah, exactly. I think I'd go to the future. I think I'd really? go like three hundred years in the future. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. And, yeah, <laughs> and just see what's popping off. And just so I could like, and I, it might be depressing because I may be like, oh, I'm not even going to live to see this crap. But hopefully I could like hop out of the time machine and do some stuff and hop back in the time machine. If guarantee, I can, you, guarantee you in 300 years, Minecraft will still be there. I know, seriously. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, and uh, if I only could go backwards, if that's what he meant by the, I think I'd go buy two Nintendos. There you go. <laughs> and keep them in the box. Keep, yeah, keep, keep them in the, the box. Keep them in the box. I think, because you know, you know, and not to hop on a soapbox, but like black folks don't want to go too far back. So there's only yeah. like there's only, there's, only, there's only like a hundred years I really want to go back and get out of the time machine. <laughs> oh. All the rest of it I want to just do like the trolley drive by it at Disney World. Like, oh yeah, man, things was crazy. Okay, let's get up out of here. All right, all right moving on. <laughs> we up at this thing. Shoot, go, yeah. go 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 go. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, go 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 go. The pedal on the right. The pedal on the right. <laughs> Oh, Gabe, you're awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. Let's, we got, let's, we'll wrap it up. We got two more. Uh, at Shay Carville. Oh, what up, Jack? Shea, yep. If you could choose the power of any protagonist in any video game, who and why? Oh, he said, heck yes. He said, I pick Skyrim. Why? Dragon Ball. <laughs> 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 I got funny. my dragonborn, y'all. I got my dragonborn. Out. Uh, we might I love have to that make... We've created these memes now. Uh, we need to. Can we make a dirty South song like that? Oh, I got totally. my dragonborn. Hey, uh, hey, my dragonborn. Dragon hey, I got my dragonborn. <laughs> hey, got my dragonborn. <laughs> hey, I got my dragonborn. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, I was just gonna go. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I got my dragon ball. I got my dragon ball. Oh my god. Totally, dude. We have to do that. That's gonna be the Married to the Games hit rock. Girlie's on on me because I got my dragon ball. <laughs> I know Gabe's next song. Yeah, that's it, dude. Exactly. We gotta do it. Eventually, oh, we're just going to have enough songs that you can release a CD. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be amazing. Gonna be awesome. That was awesome. I mm. got my dragon. Uh, I'm going to be singing that all day now. I, know. I got my okay. dragon boy. Hey. So my my power uh, from any protagonist, I, man, I got to say Cole. I love the whole electrical thing. I think it's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. I dig that a lot. Plus, I could just like go up to a light bulb and be like, Whoop, I'm healed. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hall. Um, I think when when I think about like superpowers, I think about more realistic things like having the courage of Nathan Drake or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's good. Like, or having the luck of him. Like he gets <laughs> yeah. out of a lot of crazy situations. <laughs> that's yes, true. he does. Yeah. Um, but also too, like Bioshock is pretty cool. Like the whole the idea vigors. of the vigors. Yeah. So if you go 300 years in the future for using that stuff. I'll bring you some back. Know. Yeah, please do. That's that's right. I'll Share bring you a vial. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you got? What do you got, Gabe? Gosh, we're trying to rack my brain this whole time because my initial thought was Cole as well uh, from Infamous, but I mean that might have to be it. Just because, like, that's pretty dope. That's really dope to be able I to control re- electricity. All that. The only thing I don't like about Cole's power is that you have to drain something to have it. Yeah. And so uh, you have to go like taking electricity from someplace. And, and he can't do water. So the beach is out for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I think I have to go with coal, right? Let's see. I think yeah. so. 
Yeah, you could do that. I, I mean, like throwing that. the grenades and everything. I just don't know That's when true. I need it. That's the problem. That, I know, but that is my favorite, man. I just grenade the crap out of everybody. Just boom, 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 yeah. boom. <laughs> But like, how would fly. you? Why would you do that in the real world? Like, you would yeah. never use it. Hey, hey, guess what? We wouldn't have any wars. <laughs> It'd be like I, send, I would, send tiger take, claw. I send tiger <laughs> claw. I would take care of that in a heartbeat, man. I just, just boom, boom, done. <laughs> oh, Ow. so if you were a superhero, you'd be tiger claw. I'd be right? tiger claw. Of course, clearly. you'd be tiger claw. We need to make a. Shirt that says like yes. "Want World Peace, Send Tiger Claw." Send t- <laughs> I love it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we got to do that. Uh, it's I like got to the... put like a TC somehow in like a Superman <laughs> icon of some sort. Please it's like that it. phone in the Oval Office. You don't really know what it's for, but one of the buttons says "Tiger Claw." That's right. <laughs> call Tiger Claw. <laughs> TC. Call love, Tiger Claw. Uh, CTC. Oh, oh god, this has been fun, man. All right, we got one more question. Here we go. Our boy Chayman Bassett. Uh, at Jamin Bissett, we know your least favorite genres. Now tell us your favorite types of games and if that answer has changed over time. Mm. Oh, favorite types of games. Oh, man, I'm all about the action adventure games, really. Yep. But I, I will say I love when they when they incorporate stealth. I don't know. There's just something about stealth games I just I dig. But I never got into things like Hitman. I, I just didn't. I didn't. Right. I should. I really should based on the fact that I like stealth games like that. But I mean, Dishonored was so much fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just such an adventure style gamer. Hmm. What about you, Hall? I've always been into RPGs, and I always will be, Western or Eastern. And at wow. this time, probably more Eastern, or, or I mean, uh, more Western. Yeah, boy, that was confusing. Yeah, um, was. <laughs> I'm with you. But no, like when I was growing up, you know, I'd play the Final Fantasy games, like all of them. I mean, we're talking one, uh, two on the Super uh, NES, I think. Did I play two? Gosh, I don't remember. But, you know, like one and then three, which was their six. Mm-hmm. Uh, it gets very confusing there. Right. Seven, really eight. Does. Haven't played nine yet. Uh, went to ten. Nine was good. Um, But, you know, like I really enjoy like the Bethesda games now, and they do, you know, a lot of RPGs, uh, Fallout. Uh, three, I really enjoyed. Uh, Skyrim, I'm really enjoying. Um, even went back and played a little bit of Oblivion. Like, you know, after playing Skyrim, it's kind of hard to play Oblivion, but yeah, it's still a really say, good game. Isn't that taking a step back a little bit? But is that's kind of what is. that's kind of what launched the whole thing, though. No, well, it, I mean they they made a couple more before then. Oh yeah, yeah. But I don't think it reached its like it reached a much wider audience. I think when they released. Uh, Oblivion just Oblivion. because it was a very yeah. early Xbox 360 game. So I think everybody picked it up at that yep. point. Yeah. Um, I almost he, picked it up for PC. I remember. Yeah. I mean, just like, I really enjoy their style of RPG um, more so now than I used to enjoy the Eastern style RPG. So there's something different. Mass Effect three I'm playing. So, you know, I, I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but you know, yeah. I like RPGs. So there you go. Nice. Um, I, I'm an action adventure guy, at like a uh, router. Um, but XCOM definitely had me looking at like oh, strategic. Yeah. Shoot, I still gotta play that game. Oh, that's uh. so good. That is a good game, boy. Golly. Um, but yeah, action adventure overall, and that has changed a little bit because I didn't used to be that guy. You used to be more JRPG. I used to be JRPG, and I actually used to play a lot of sports games. Yeah. Weirdly enough, now I don't play any. That's crazy. Well, there you have it, folks. That's uh, that's our questions for this week. Thank you so much to everybody for sending them in. We love it, and we love answering. We always have a lot of fun goofing off and and uh, and answering all your questions. So we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Keep sending them in. Keep listening. We appreciate you guys, man. Let your friends know about us. If they're like, hey, what are you doing? Even if you're not listening to us, be like, oh, listen to some Married to the Games. Be like, really? I thought you were reading this book. You're like, well, yeah, uh, Married <laughs> Married to the games. <laughs> yeah, the book uh, we would ap- we games. would appreciate it. We don't have the money to pay YouTubers to talk good about us. So yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. And, and and we're married to the games trademark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. TMCTC. <laughs> Call Tiger Claw. <laughs> T-
Yeah. <laughs> Tiger Claw sick him for you. <laughs> Followed by I got my dragon ball. I got my dragon ball. <laughs> Can we get Rick Ross in there too? Rick? Uh, uh, I know. Boss. Rick. <laughs> Ross. Ross. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh man. So We've had fun awesome. this morning. That's um, great. Dude, well, I'm going to get out of here and go try to uh, squeeze in some Wolf Among Us before oh, everybody gets so up. I'm so excited oh, for you. Oh, yes. Yeah, buddy. I cannot <laughs> wait. Can yeah, I wait? You'll play the whole thing. But yeah, you I will. Hope, I hope so. You will not. Yeah, you have to play the whole thing, man. You you won't put it down. Trust me. Sweet. I so can't good. wait. I'm so excited. Um, Well, I'm Gabe Patillo. That's Tim Router. That's Timothy Hall. And we are married to the games and we are out this thing. Peace!